Hello everyone and uh, peace of Christ to all of you. This is a video update about what's happening between the Turkish aggression and the, the people of the Afrin, the Kurdish people defending themselves. Uh, you know, I saw uh, Erdogan making a speech praising Allah for taking over a little tiny mountain. Uh, actually, he's not even close to Afrin. And after more than a week, this guy, he is speaking about Allah giving him victory reading Quran, reciting Quran, and uh, speaking about jihad. And I saw actually a video of, uh, of, uh, of the Turkish army, you know, uh, uh, screaming Allahu Akbar after a guy who uh, preached unto them that we are going to finish them all. So this is a fascist uh, 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 regime, uh, fascist government. They believe anyone don't agree with them. And always they use religion, always Muslims, they use religion to conquer their enemy. It doesn't matter who. And the, the propaganda of the Muslims that the Kurdish who live there, they are not believers, so it's okay to kill them. That's why you will not see one Muslim going in the street says, stop this attack. How many uh, thousands and thousands in Europe they march when the Israeli were fighting in Gaza? How come we don't see the Muslims in Europe marching to protect the civilian of Afrin because Muslims are hypocrites and this is why the Turkish the Kurdish sorry they they decided to be out of this cult and actually I saw uh, a sheikh he was speaking about why uh, uh, they should support Turkey in their attack and he said do you believe that those Kurdish they are allowing the Christians to preach their gospel there do you believe that they are allowing them to open churches? Do you believe that they are allowing even Kurdish to convert to Christianity? May Allah curse them. And I wish I can play the video for you, uh, but uh, you know, they will play copyright. So uh, they use always religion to conquer their enemy, even if, their religion, if, even if the enemy is a Muslim. They make him a kafir in a second and they uh, throw many things at him to make you to make the muslims not to support them and one of you actually he posted there he said well there is they are saying they are communist this is one of the propaganda of uh, the, the abdul uh, how we can justify killing those people we make them communist how they are communist and their best friend is the american are you blind i mean <laughs> is that the american flag the russian actually and not the russian are not communist anymore anyway but the reason the Russian did not involve in this, and this is the mistake of the Kurdish, they thought the American, they are going to protect them. But the American, they are uh, business-minded people and they will not uh, risk, they have to balance. We have two friends, uh, supposedly, and which one is more important? They have a big base inside Turkey and they will not risk that. So, to make it simple, the Kurdish might lose the ground facing such a huge army attacking them but they will not lose the war there's a huge difference between losing the ground and losing the war losing the war is about you at the end you are the winner let us see how the war will end this guy Erdogan he think is going to be like a vacation trip to Afrin after more than 10 days hardly he touched the service of Afrin if you if you look with me here you see, this is the point where the Turkish occupied. Look, look how small, tiny, after a week. You see it? After a week, you know? This is all under the Kurdish now. So, took all this, uh, make speeches, Allahu Akbar gave us victory, all of this, because you took this spot. So what you will do if you take the whole thing? And how long is going to take you to take the whole thing? You know what I mean? 10 days, 15 days, well, he told them before he launched the attack, it's going to take us a few days. But what a few days? What are you talking about? And not only that, wherever they win at night, the Turkish, they lose. Sorry, they, they win at daytime, they lose at night time. And, you know, me and myself, I pray and I hope all the Christians, they will pray for the Kurdish. And I honestly, if I can support them, I will. And actually, uh, this is the lowest support I can give, is to make a video and defend the rights of those people. And I say shame on the Western countries to stay silent in the aggression of the filthy 
you know, Erdogan. This man is a fascist. This is why he is using the Quran to justify killing the civilian. They are disgusting. And shame on Trump for doing nothing yet. Uh, the only thing I heard that Trump, he speak firmly to the Turkish that they cannot get a close to, to, to Membridge. The, the Turkish, they say they want to attack Membridge. They send, uh, you know, like in the borders, but they did not get close. And they asked the American to leave Membridge here. And uh, the American, they, uh, they gave them a very firm answer, don't even try. And I hope, I wish, that the Turkish, they will make a mistake and touch our USA arm. And then we will, we will give them the spank they deserve. I hope they will make such a mistake. Let us see. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to, lose your, uh, to leave your comment. And if you like what we do, please subscribe. God bless you, and I pray for all the Kurdish people from my heart. God bless.